William the Conqueror had recaptured York from the rebels. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson for defying him. He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance, known as the harrying of the North. Villages and crops were destroyed. It is said a hundred thousand people were killed. With ruthless efficiency, William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. But it wasn't to last. It would be thrown into chaos by his own children. When William the Conqueror died in 1087, his favorite son succeeded him, King William II, known as William Rufus. But 13 years into his reign, disaster struck. While out hunting, he was killed. William's youngest brother took his place as King Henry I. But there was a problem. At the time, Henry's elder brother, Robert, Duke of Normandy, had been on crusade. When he returned, he was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. From Normandy, Robert attempted to invade England to claim the crown from his brother. But he failed and returned home. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the Channel and invaded Normandy, intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. His first target was Bayer. This rich and splendid city was one of the jewels of Normandy. Henry was to begin his campaign by unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army. In the brotherly feud over Normandy, King Henry I set out to make an example of Bayer, a town still loyal to his brother Duke Robert. Henry's archers took up position on high ground outside the city and faced an immediate attack by Robert's cavalry patrol. Having deployed their palings, Henry's archers were well protected against the cavalry charge. They defeated the first patrol. As Henry set his sights on burning Bayer, more reinforcements arrived to join his army. Yeah! 
the English approached Bayeux and saw that its towering stone walls would not be breached by manpower alone. Henry would need siege equipment and a defensible location to construct it. the services of a blacksmith to bolster the siege effort. Danger worker, pass it will do heat. Here on her aircraft. Yes, off it you go. Reach timber thighs. Straight to the surface.
Vera Don. Yaru to work each a gap. That's Shule Bayo Timber. What each a say? Yes, sir. Where's the water? Each timber fails. And your worker. Each a worker. Henry's presence on the doorstep of Bayeux would not go unanswered, and now his force is braced for an attack by Robert's army. Henry repelled the attack, but he knew that so long as Bayer still stood, the city would not give up the fight. Each On. Oh, Where are you Stray working? Who say? I'm your worker. Yes, sir. West to Harla. That's Shule Bayo Timber. Get to the ready for head. Yeah, wait, we get me a word. Strail Boren Yah. Leona, head. Read it new, Tulkis. It is Sister Handel Hefu, sir. What's that with me? That should have been with him, lad. No, Tulkes, set it down. What's that with me? And you're heading off. Each timber fails. <laughs> With a blacksmith on hand, Henry's infantry would soon be ready to construct siege equipment. Each 
Geyser. Geyser. Bondus tut. Infantry could now construct battering rams, siege weapons designed to break open yeah, yeah, fortress yeah. walls. Apuka, strel board. Strel board, shield. You want to get it? You want to work? Very on your work, huh? Yeah. When they are. Yes, eh? what's our fate? Eh? Each a worker. Your way, you waller. Hey, you're a young. Stay on, man. Which ailm ye dog? There you worker. Each a worker. What? Here, when they off. You need to know. They are a reader. Should it come to the moon? Each a copy. 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 What's their faith, eh? 
did you say? Uh, yes. Cheerless, your way on your Sammy and Eat Brookay that. Yes, let's go, man. It shall be the end of the fight. We are the end of the fight. We the end of the fight. We are 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 the end of the the end of the fight. We are the storm the city. Robert's garrison made a last stand to defend Bayeux, but Henry would show no mercy in cutting them down and burning their city.
As Bayo burned and the people fled in terror, King Henry basked in the victory over his brother Duke Robert. But Henry would not stop until all of Normandy was back under the English crown.